Because you see, in reality, you cannot really have that absolute supreme of powers. Yes, you have rules designated by the Constitution as to this role belongs to the, uh, for example, power of appointment is, conf you know, is conferred on the executive, but confirmation is uh, conferred on the legislature. The interpretation of uh, laws is conferred on the judiciary ordinarily. I say ordinarily because if you take the legislature, for example, as a law-making body, what then happens under a situation where you have a pronouncement by the Supreme Court? A pronouncement by the Supreme Court becomes a law. And yet, you will not ordinarily just describe the, the judiciary as a law-making body. So this is what I mean. If, uh, for example, even at the state level, the governor uh, appoints um, commissioners, the commissioners cannot start to function until the appointment you know, is confirmed. confirmed. By the, so this is the okay, inter, so this is an the ideal situation that you describe. But what obtains in Nigeria today? with uh, the arms of government? Well, for me, nothing... And why, why so? Nothing unusual. Uh, oftentimes, I have always argued that the legislature is the most misrepresented and most misunderstood and possibly most misconstrued arm of government. And it's a function of the reality of our political evolution where the legislature uh, has suffered uh, what I call stunted growth. Because each time the unity came into the scene, the legislature was under lock and key. So it was never really allowed to grow alongside the other arms of government. So uh, to that extent, uh, and, uh, my appeal is to the people out there, generally, the generation of Nigerians, to you know, okay. understand right. the, 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 some kind All of right. limitation that the uh, legislature has been uh, exposed to. All right, um, let, me, let me come over to you, uh, Senator um, Honorable Mwulu. Your colleagues berated the comment attributed to Vice President Oshibajo. Would you say the lawmakers were being um, petty, considering the fact that the Vice President is also a member of the judiciary as a senior advocate of Nigeria? Or do they, um, are there grounds, do they have enough grounds to send that warning out to the Vice President? Well, um, thank you for having me. I would say that the, the lawmakers were not being petty. At the same time, like um, all the senator has said, um, there, there must always be that interdependency. And at the same time, uh, there, there must also be some form of disagreements. But the most important thing is that these, these are all part of our democracy. These are all meant to to galvanize and uh, strengthen our democratic process. So it's, um, it's not out of place for the uh, lawmakers to call the, the, VP, the VP's attention on what he said. At the same time, we, you, you, there, there should be that mutual respect for every arm of government, you know. So um, the statement accredited to the vice president is um, is one that the the legislators found um, found to be not too good for them, and they they reacted to it. Okay, and let me let me let for me. me quickly. Every other thing we're saying about it is just blowing it out of proportion. Okay. Okay, let me um, let me ask you, um, Madam. You're not a member of the executive or the legislature. You've, though you've been um, a part of the executive in the state government. Do you agree with the position of Senator Mamara and Honorable Umulu on the interrelationship between the three arms of government? I would want to differ a little bit. Uh, whilst I agree, I would like to differ on the issue of um, whittling down the importance of the separation of powers when it comes to the different arms of government. I recall that um, the earlier part of this um, dispensation leading up to now, 
The first word I would like to use to describe this present relationship between the executive and the legislature is that it is unfortunately first with a lot of it's been first with a lot of disagreement and it's put to the front burner the issue of building institutions. I have been a member of the state executive arm and funny enough I had the privilege of working with the liaison officer once at the um, federal level, the liaison officer in charge of the National Assembly. It's very important to realize that while the issue of, of um, mutual respect is key between the uh, arms of government, the, the most important part of the democratic uh, structure is the legislature. We mustn't joke with the importance of the legislature and its ability to function within the democratic okay. space. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you to hold that thought because when you come back, you will need to explain a little more to us because I have some members of the judiciary and executive would want you to explain what you mean by the most important. So we'll take a moment at this time. When we return, we'll begin more into the separation of powers and interdependence of the arms of government. Stay with us. <laughs>